This is drag clicking. And, wh and why is the cable on the left side? So much better. Let's go. Bloody and Rokai are known to be the best and most trusted mouse brands in the drag clicking community. I might also be giving away one at the end, so. But people mostly use them to gold bridge, block clutch, or whatever, whatever this is. But buying bloody mice was one of my biggest mistakes, and you'll see why later on. But first, let me tell you why I don't like bloody mice. Before anyone says anything, hear me out, okay? So exactly five months ago, I ordered a bloody A60, but after hopelessly waiting for two months, I, it just it just never came. Just like my dad. But it's fine. I just guess it just got lost in shipping or something. So I let it slide, okay? But literally two months later, I ordered not one, but two A90s. But surprisingly, both of them came. But broken. <laughs> yeah. But before you freaking comment, Dirkle, have you even tried to actually bloody mouse, which actually works? Oh my god, it's so bad. I, went so I have, guys, I have, okay? Shut up. I'm just not a fan of their freaking build quality and shape. Like, freaking, what is this? It's like a brick. Okay, now I'll stop ranting about bloody and talk about why I actually love Rokat. You guys are probably like, oh my god, I don't care if he likes freaking Rokat. But just wait, okay? Actually, never mind. Because bloody didn't try to my Twitter DMs. I'm gonna do some bloody mice trick shots. Let's go. First, the bed shot. Let's go. I'm insane, bro. Is it still alive? S second, the mouse flip. It's making funny noises. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think it's alive. I'm joking. Sorry, bloody. You can still send me your mouse, okay? But for now, you can just stay in the bed. Okay, now let's actually talk about Rokat. I go way back with Rokat from making videos about their mice nine months ago to now them sending me their new Rokat Cone Pro, which is arguably one of the best drag looking mouse and was a surprise to most people in the community. What the dog doing? Like literally, look at it. Looks like something from the future. But yeah, the Rokat Cone Pro has one of the yes, best sir. shapes I've ever seen on a mouse. And with the zero debounce add-on on their software, it can click 180 to 200 CPS, even on the wireless version. Like, bro, have you ever seen that? Okay, now that I've talked about both the mice, to actually determine the the best drag looking mouse. I did four tests being CPS, bridging, and the third being shape, build quality, and weight. Where's the where's the fourth one, bro? Who wrote the script? And after that, I'll tell you what I think is the best drag clicking mouse. So stay tuned. Okay, so I just woke up and let's just drag click. Before that, actually, is that the purple tuxedo one? Okay, I clicked 40 on the first drag click and. Okay, it's literally about the same, bro. With the CPS of both mice almost being the exact same, this was just dependent on the shape, sensor, and feel of the mouse. So basically the next category. But yeah, the Rokat Cone Pro is lighter, has a better sensor, and has a better shape. So I think it just wins this category and maybe the whole thing. Now, before I crown the king, if you want to just buy the Rokai Cone Pro or the Bloody Mouse, both the links are in the description. And I'm also giving away one Rokai Cone Pro to one of you guys. So comment down below why you want it, and I'll reply to your comment if you win. But now, which mouse is the king of drag clicking? At the end of the day, it's just prefer. Who am I kidding? Just get the Rokai Cone Pro.